Two sisters were hacked to death here along the San Jose Road in Toledo. Their chopped up nude bodies were discovered after 10.30 on Sunday night. The girls, Crescencia and Josephine O, oh, who are from San Antonio Village, were last seen walking out of San Jose around 6.30 on Sunday evening. But a killer or killers met them on the way out and butchered them to death. Their brother saw them last around 3 on Sunday afternoon. He says they traveled to San Jose for a church event, but stayed behind to visit a family member. The girls never returned. Mario O was overcome with grief of his sister's brutal murder. Well, I saw them yesterday. Yesterday? Yesterday afternoon. Do you know what they were probably doing in San Jose? Well, well they, went, they went for a church. Uh -huh. For a church. They went for a church? Yeah, with, with, with the Mennonite. With the Mennonite? With the Mennonite? Yes. Some people say they saw them walking out of the village. Do you know why they did not come back with the Mennonite? And, well, and as they reached the Mennonite and when the church finished, they, they gone, I, I got a brother right here too, living in San, San Jose. Uh -huh. mm. now, now when the church finished, they gone and and attend to my brother because they want to to send something with with them. And according to my sister, other sister, he stayed in the church. He, he, she didn't even went with them. Okay. But according to them, they are waiting, waiting, but they they don't arrive. The bloodstained road tells but a piece of the gruesome tale of the girl's brutal and tragic end. It appears they were chopped to death with a sharp object, possibly a machete. The murder scene shows that the girls were also slashed in the head, which left bits and pieces of their hair and the blood-soaked ground. Police say they have no motive at this time and no suspects. It is not known if the girls were sexually assaulted. That is pending a test with the medical examiner. On the roadside, they observe the nude bodies of two females. One is a minor with several apparent chap wounds to the body. What we have so far is that the females are from San, An San Antonio village and they had went to San Jose village to attend a church service. And they went there after the church service, they had visited their brother. And while going back to their village, it was then that they were brutally attacked and the bodies were found later on by police. Um, police is at the village right now trying to establish a motive. We have heard that police were considering speaking to persons from her, her, her family, the two ladies' families. They are sisters, and so far, as, as far as I know, nobody has been detained, and there is no suspect at this moment. The girls' family members say they have no idea why someone would want to kill them in this cold-blooded way. Okay, did she tell you at any time, did she have any enemies or anything like that? No. No, they just gone just for a visit the San Jose. To visit? Mm -hmm. Or did they go to church or just to yeah. visit friends? They go along with my sister. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, you have any idea why anybody would want to kill your sisters? No. Do you know if they had boyfriends? No. No? No. Okay. They, did they give you any indication that they were going to meet anybody over no, there? No, no, they just go and visit, then tell my mother that how they go and visit there, the sound say. So you, have, you don't have any idea why would somebody want to kill your sisters? No, I don't know, I have no idea of, of that. I don't, I don't know, I don't know nothing about them. San Jose residents saw the girls enter the village on Sunday, but they're not sure what they were doing there. And then later, they saw them left setting out on the San Jose road to an unknown destination. But they never imagined that they would meet such a brutal and tragic end. Walk into the village and then they're walking back to their destiny, I don't know which place. Yeah, like maybe they might have went to buy something? Well, roughly because when they went to the village, nothing at their hand, but when they are coming back again, they have a bag with them too. Either could be something in the bag, maybe chicken or whatever, but they have a bag in their hand. I saw it's just like a blanket. Uh -huh. uh -huh. He, he holds like this. Okay. Uh -huh. I saw them when they passed. And you, don't, you have never seen them before? Uh-uh. No. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.